Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad. Queen Jolene's on the camera. Doug is in the house. We have Timbo's truck in the house. Um, we're going to be putting a sill in it, so we're doing rust repair today. Uh, we have a sill that we got bent up. Um, you remember when we bought, if you watch the videos at all, we bought the, the Pull Max from Fred. Uh, Fred also makes sills and, and wheel side openings or wheel openings for trucks and cars and stuff like that. He has a, you know, just a side little biz going there. This is one of his sills. So as we bought the Pull Max, we bought a set of sills from They're for Tim's truck. Tim owns the Fiero. Now he owns a rusty Chev truck. Uh, one sill is gone on it. <laughs> <Doesn't> he <die? laughs> yes, he sort does. Sort of. Yeah. So it's rusty on one side. So like we're going to do some rust repair today. This is the basic sill part that we have here. Um, if Jolene wants to show you, do you want to come over this side? Okay, this is the sill that we're going to be replacing. Um, what we're going to do, me and Doug are going to team tackle this bad boy. What's going to happen is I'm, I'm going to cut it off. Doug's going to clean it. Both jobs are dirty, but it has to be done. Um, you can see the sill here, how it has. So if you want to do your sills on your own vehicle, you most certainly can. You most certainly can. It has this round part here on the face of it and basically all we're doing is, is trying to find the shape to where it goes I would say if you just want to hold it up there it goes on there like so that's Fred did a good job banging them he did really a good nice. job banging really those nice on sales, there that yeah. fits in there nice we're gonna have to, as we put it up there you can see that we're gonna have to cut it around the cab corner here a little bit to get that shoved in where it's supposed to be and we'll probably have to get it shoved in there uh, where the door post is because it's a four door and let me pull this bad boy off so Let's, put, let's pull it off. We'll talk about it here for a second. If Jane wants to come up and take a look at it, you can see where where the where the mice have been living, and everybody needs a home, that's for sure. But uh, where it's cut out like that, where that's rusted like that, there's a lip. You can see the lip right there. The lip. There's a lip right there. That's the inside sill. So the floor would come over. The sill would come down, or the floor would come down, and it has a little bend there because you can see it right, right there. There's your floor up in there. Your floor comes over, so the floor comes over, comes down, and then bends in. This sill piece that we have here that we got from Fred, you can see that, I don't know if you can... If you can see back here, you can see back here where it has this bend. This bend here that Fred's got bent on this here, it's really nice, really yeah, nice. Super um, nice. Um, that bend there is where the floor comes over, comes down, and then bends in like this. So this piece will connect to that. Uh, this piece connects up in here. This piece connects to down underneath there. So this is the plan. As we have that like that, we're going to run the zip cut. I'm going to run the zip cut right down along this piece here. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go over here and cut the zip cut off because it's all spot welded there. Spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, spot weld. You know, it's all spot weld. There's going to be hard to get off. That's where Doug's going to come in. So I'm going to take the zip cut and run it along here and just take off all the access. Then we might be able to get a screwdriver or punch underneath this metal that spot welded to the inside piece. And then we'll rip that off if we can, the best we can, or grind it off. What we don't want to do is tear and rip the inside sill and, and get that all distorted because it causes work. So we're going to be very gentle with the inside sill. If we can't rip it off with a pair of vice grips or, seat, or channel locks or something like that, then we just grind, take a hard disc and grind it off. Grind each spot weld off, try to pull it off the best we can. So we're just going to try to clean that lip all the way along there. We, we just set the sill on. We just set the sill on. And we know it fits nice because it looks nice just like that. We haven't even got it cut to go around the cab corner. So good job, Fred. Um, so as I'm looking at it, we'll pull this bad boy off. There is, um, I'm going to say, that goes inside there quite a ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the zip cut along here, right along this corner, right along this edge here. Cut that off because we got metal to go inside there. And then we'll go on the inside and tack that piece on. So we can lay that right on top of that. Uh, one thing we will not do, so get ready, when we cut it off, we will not undercoat it before we put it on. <laughs> we will not do that. Undercoating is last. So when you get your car all fixed and you get the, we get the piece on, then the undercoating goes on. If you want to think about it for a minute, if we 
put the sill on, welded it up, sp sprayed it full of undercoating. What's going to happen to the guy that wants to paint it? He's, he's really going to be in a mess. Just ask Jimbo. He sprayed the inside of his fenders on his Oldsmobile, and the, and the undercoating is coming out, and the paint will not stick where the undercoating is coming out. So basically, the undercoating is last. Um, all right, I'm going to cut this off. Doug's just going to stand by because he's got some dirty work to do after I, after I cut it off. And then we'll, we'll go from there. So if you want to do your sills on your car, your truck, you can. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty basic... You want me to leave that there? It's a pretty basic thing um, to put some sills on. Yes, it is. You want to take uh, the measurements that you have to take and all that sort of stuff. But we're going to... We have nice metal right up in front here. There's no sense in me. There's nice. I can put the. Wait, you want to give me that here? There's nice metal right here where that meets the fender. There's no sense in me cutting that off and and and, and ruining that. I might as well leave a half an inch, inch, so we can lay that metal there on top of it. We are replacing to pass inspection. We are not restoring it. No. If we was restoring it, uh, we probably would peel it off and then we try to take the fender off, we'd be restoring it. We are actually trying to make something pass inspection. So this is what we're going to go for. We're going to cut that off. As soon as my Queen Jolene backs up a little bit. We also got the doodle bug pulled outside today, which is pretty good visual. Um, if you stick with us, we might show you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's going to cut the sill off at all? You. I am. You see him right there. All right. I'm just going to cut this off. And that's quite thick metal there. And where it, it has you know, it has holes here, it has holes there, and down there, it's, it's, you know, it's, it could be. But in all, in, all, in all honesty, you're best just to cut it all off and do the whole thing. You know, and then try to put a piece in it here and try to put a piece in it there. Um, that's the difference between um, doing a real good job and doing a half a good job. Yeah, don't just cap it. You gotta cut out, cut out cut the cancer. It cut yeah, the cancer cut it all off. Right? I have not done one of these sills yet, so I do not know what's in there for inside construction. There could, I could be cutting inside construction. Could be. Someone's already been in there. We'll find something. There's, there's no mouse in that house. Ah, he's gone. We swept him up this morning, didn't you, Doug? You sure did.
So probably the best thing you can do, or the first thing you should do, is just probably when you get your sill, just throw it on the vehicle and see where it lies to know where to cut it off. I wouldn't just go cut it off without trying it on. Um, because you might cut it off in the wrong spot. They don't always fit that nice. What? They don't always fit that nice. Well, there is the mouse house. I said it's true. Now, you can see where the bend is. If I don't know if Jolene can see or not, but the bend's right there that we have in the sill right there. He's got it matched up pretty good. So we're just gonna cut it along that seam. The reason I'm cutting it along that seam, remember, I don't want to cut that inside floor piece coming down and that 90 going in. I don't want to cut that off. I don't, don't want to put any holes in that. We're reconnecting to that. We're going back to it. Is there another zip cut right there, Douglas? <laughs> yeah. So what you'll need is you'll need a couple, you'll need a couple zip cuts, obviously, to um, get started on your project, which is not too big of a deal. Weak, I must be weak. So you'll need a couple zip cuts. If you buy them at the dollar store, you're looking at four dollars. The sills, I think we're 120 or 120. So you're that's what you're looking at for that. So you can do a reasonable, you know, a reasonable job on your car. It doesn't have to cost you a million dollars, just a million and a half. And that's the mouse house right there. <clears throat> that's the mouse house. This one's gonna cut off easy. <laughs> Very good metal up in there. Wow, that's thick. Good, a spark in the eye. I can remember the first time I did a Chev tracker. Cut the sills off it and cut the whole wiring harness in half. <laughs> the wiring harness was in the in the sills. Oh man. Well, uh, yeah, I kind of. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> yeah. It, I'm, I'm not, uh, what can I say, I don't work on new vehicles all the time, but the older vehicles is pretty basic. You have an inside sill, an outside sill that comes to it. It's pretty basic. This truck, truck right here is pretty basic. It's quite something. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sweep that up. We'll sweep that up, Douglas, if you will, little buddy. And there was a mouse house in it. Yes, there was. There they was. need homes too. Uh, we've got a couple pairs of channel locks here. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the access metal that's left on that lip that's going along from the inside floor, the inside sill. 
we're gonna take that and just take these chain locks and just pull it down and then see what we got and see if we can rip it off. Where'd Timbo go? <laughs> Why well, he don't want to see his old Chevy all cut up. That's all. He's inside here. No, no. That's the your way for a change. No. <laughs> Christ, no. Come on in, join the fun. Well, I just don't like <laughs> well, you can see what's go you can see what's going on. Yeah. We just got we just cut that lip off all the way along there, and then and this is the inside. Right. Coming down, we're gonna oh, peel this piece look off. Look at the pretty rust kit. It's beautiful. Pretty. It's pretty. Beautiful. It is. There's so much of it. Awesome. How many push-ups can you do, Tim? <laughs> Two. You're gonna have to do at least one. What? You mean We're probably day? gonna have to help him out. <laughs> per month? <laughs> per day or per month? Yeah. <laughs> Pair of channel locks for your doubles. Yeah. Let, let's rip let's rip off the Let's see how I many you can do to get as old as buddy. Well <laughs> That's on there good. Just kinda of ripping that lip off the best we can. Oh rough. Lots dirt. Huh? Lots of dirt. I might even just take the zip cut and go, if we just bend that down, Doug, it's, try not to do anything to the inside lip, you know what I mean? I just want to bend that down. I might just take the zip cut and cut the rest of it off and leave yeah. that lip there. Yeah, we... Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there's not much clear in somewhere, so it's just a bonus for us. Yeah, Chef That's truck. quite strong still, isn't it? Well, I just need that. Yeah. I'm going to cut that off. Me too. Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do is, that lip's all spotted, welded on there really nice. So I'm going to cut it a little bit closer, make it nice. We're going to flush it off the best we can. We're going to put the sill on. Let's get this swept up, if you know what I'm saying. So there's metal going down to that lip on the inside, going down the inside, spot weld together on the lip for coming floor, coming down. That metal is on there really good with the spot welds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the metal right close to what's going on, get more rust out of it. And then we're just going to take the hard disk and clean it off. Because we start bending it, what's going to happen is we're going to start ruining the, the flange on the inside sill. We're going to start ruining that. And uh, once you ruin that, then you're into fixing underneath and then outside also. We don't want to go there. We're going to the cheapest, um, quickest as possible. That's where we're going. Do you know that store? I don't know that store either. See what I'm doing there. Stop it. Pull my own cord out. Might as well finish this while I'm here. Good metal. It had good metal in it, really did. So I'm just cutting it close as I can to that inside piece. Then we'll clean this all up. The flapper wheel will go right over top of it. Yeah. I don't want to do too much, just cut too far into that. Got 
close there. Inside sill looks good on it. That's a good thing. Probably could have cut that the first time, but in all honesty, we want to make sure that we're cutting the right stuff when we're cutting it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. That's nice. We're going to take... Do you, put... you only put that light there? Huh? Yes, sir. Sure. You're a badass. You do. Um, so Doug's going to sweep that up. I'm going to give Doug the flapper wheel. I'm gonna get Doug dirty. Why not? That's what I'm here Why for? not? Well, it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. Beautiful day. So, actually. I may as well just keep going, Doug. Why get you dirty when I can just get? Well, I'll get you help me put it on. How's that? You're, like do, you're doing a fine work. job sweeping, so I'll just I like leave you be. I like your work, man. And there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna put that back in. I gotta see. I see something I want to cut. <clears throat> We've got a cab corner that's gone here. That sill. Let's hold that sill back up there, Doug. Please and thank you. And if it's long enough, we're gonna. There's a seam right here. We're gonna go right over top of it. I mean, if, if you're underneath there and you see that seam, I'm okay. But if we can get if we get the sill, the sill is long enough that we can repair it. Um, at the same time, I would like to do that. Oh, it is. I love it. Thanks, Red. So I'm just gonna take and cut a little bit out of there because there's dirt in there, obviously. Yeah, see, it's a good thing I didn't go go too far because there's an inside construction there. So we're just going to clean that up around there, and then we'll, we'll weld right over top of that. We'll have a new piece in there. So I'm just going to take the flapper wheel. I'm going to clean the edge up the whole distance. Give it something to weld to. And you'll have to ask yourself. What did it cost you to put your sills on as I'm showing you to do this? There must be people that are watching this video right at the present moment. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Tim's going 1,000, 2,000. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, right. as, you, as you're watching this, um, you, can, you can justify or whatever. You can see how your sills are being put on because I'm not doing anything different than anybody else is doing. Um, I'm cutting off the rust and then we're putting them on. We are not restoring this truck. We are getting it ready for inspection. So when it comes um, 2060 or whatever, night 2060, and some young fellow gets this truck and say, oh my, what a, what a gob job. No, I am repairing the truck for inspection. And that's what, you know, when you see a lot of work that has, it's, it's, it's quick, it's fast, it gets done as quick as possible. That's why I try not to knock people's work when you bring it in, because you do not know the circumstances. <laughs> and not yeah. everywhere it has inspection either, do they? I'm not sure. Yeah. So. But um, I'm, I'm finding it hard for Nova Scotia to have inspection because the roads aren't worth inspection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we're> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard to justify that, but we all must live by the rules. I try to nowadays. I try to. We're probably going to weld that right up on that seam there. Wherever there's good metal is where I'm going to grind it back to. 
and then we can go right over top of it. All this stuff here we cannot undercoat before or until the sill is put on. Grab me a hammer. I'll take them on the cone handle if you don't mind. Thanks, Douglas. Just want to bang on it. There is the original. That is right there is the original drain hole for the sill. And you can and you know why it was rotted out is because it was full. That's the original drain hole right there. You want to come take a look? You see that little knock out there? That's the original drain hole. So we just opened it back up so we can put the sill back on. It has this original drain hole. Also, you can be used for undercoating. Gonna hit it easy with the hammer. Also, when, when it comes time um, to get the truck inspected, we are not putting the sill on the other side. Um, it's called a visual inspection. So if you're, if you're, there's no holes in it at the present moment on the other side. So if someone comes up there and starts jamming holes in your truck or your car, um, I feel like it's their responsibility to fix it. It happens. It does, but it sure um, it's a visual, not a poke hole session. Another drain hole. Another drain hole. Watch your eyes. Now, in the, we're going to have to find out where, um, where that lip sits on. We will find that out here in a minute. I'm just going to clean up here a little bit. Then I'm going to open the doors and we'll clean the metal on the top. I left that metal up front on this sill because I want to I want to be able to weld that metal to something. If I cut that out, well then I'm, I'm not going to have anything really to weld it to. And I left it there for that reason. Get our zip cut going. We're going to try to make these sills fit now. Put this other way. So what's going to happen now is, is Doug's going to hold one end of the sill. I'm going to hold one end of the sill, and uh, we're going to start do marking it um, to make it fit. And what I mean by mark it, make it fit, we have a post inside this door. We have. A piece here where it's not fitting it along there. We're going to have to mark the sill and retake out some of the metal so we can get it in place. Marker. I'm going to hey. get one. All right. Doug's got a marker. <clears throat> You're going to go to the front, Doug, so you know where 
Um, you got enough metal cover? You got enough metal cover? Oh, yes. Take, yep. take a look underneath yep, and see if you're, you're good. Plenty, plenty, buddy. I got to get you down in the dirt, bye. That's okay. It's fine. Good? Oh, yeah, I'm right on that line. All right. I want, can you come back a little bit? Sure can. Do you still got metal? Yes, it is. Good. Right there, yeah. That's where I want you, right there, okay? Yeah. And the reason I got him to come back here, because I had, I cut that out. I want this metal to cover that metal. There's no sense. Anyways, we'll go here. And we're going all the way in. We'll leave a little bit. Because you can see that little bit right there. There's a little bend in there. We're going to leave that little bit out on the inside of this. Actually, I might even just take and cut it all and take it down to the face. We'll cut that little bit out first. We'll cut this out first, see where it goes. And then we might be just weld it on this face here instead of leaving that up there. So it might cut down here and cut along here. Number one, I'll cut the little, then, then number two is to cut that one. If you understand that. All right, if you want to open that, you want to actually open that door, Doug? And you're going to have to put it back. No, we don't have to do that. No, there's no uh, post there we have to do that. It's okay, Doug. There's no post on that Thanks. coming in there. It's just straight through. So this is going to be fairly easy. You want to pass me that zip cut, Doug? Please, thank you. I'm going to cut number one first. See how that rolls. We're just straight in on that. We'll cut number one. Number one's the first mark. So it's Fred in Windsor that we bought these sills off of. He did a fantastic job. Fantastic. Fantastic. We still got our door gap. Uh, if you want to take a look at this truck, you can see the door gap is bigger there, smaller there, and smaller there. I mean, uh, we're not going, we're going to make the door gap the best we can, but in all actual fact, um, it's got a good, it's got good door gap still. Now, I want to open the door, open the doors. So basically, oh, did you break that? I did. Seriously? Fucking did, yes. He <laughs> <laughs> broke your door handle. I did, man. Seriously. <laughs> I told you these Chevy trucks are junk. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did, I broke what, what I got going on here, Doug's holding the sill on. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it where I've got to clean it. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to clean it so I can weld it. It goes right up in that line, right? These are, these are quite something else. Like, I know where I got to clean it now, all the way back. Um, I think I will cut. Uh, I like it in there. It's, if it's, I don't mind that piece right there. Cut weld that in there. I don't mind. I can clean that in there. Well, then just tap this. What? Where that squared off like that? See where it goes like that? Gonna have to relief it. Gonna have to cut it. a little zip cut there, a little zip cut there, and pound it in to there, and then roll it over, and then do it. So this is not gonna bend. You're not gonna bend that in where it's squared off like that. So what you do is you put a little cut in on it, bang that in, put a little cut there, bang that in, and then you can roll that edge in as, as you go. Let's pull this off. I'm gonna clean in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Watch yourself, Doug. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, in the China shop and heard on stuff. It kind of was kind of uh, beat up, anyways. It really was. Okay. But I can replace it. I know where there's all kinds of these things junked. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. I've already <laughs> replaced the other three. They, they just like, yeah, good. Oh, I'm glad they get along so well. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'll be for you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. They're made of plastic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys get along so well. I can find I can find you one. They're like no uh, problem, $44 man. a net. That doesn't go with many customers breaking door handles. Oh, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, really, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think they're like 44 So hurt on stuff. Bucks at net. Just going to take the drill, go along there so we can weld that in there. I got the stripper wheel. It works good. It works good. I have another one that's 
this a little bit longer. Doug, will you grab me the, the other, and there's a wheel in there in the toolbox. I think there's another stripper wheel there. Just want to get it clean so it's weldable. I'm going to keep that, not throwing it away. I think it's in the other toolbox, I think. Should be there on the bottom, maybe. Perfect. We'll clean that up. Um, we're going to have to disconnect the battery on this bad boy. You disconnect the battery, do you, Doug? Sure can, bad buddy. Boy? Okay, you, 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 you want to pop the hood so we don't tear the handle off? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, my God, you're tearing my mouth. <laughs> it's good to be if you're ripping door handles off. Tim, this was already broken. It wasn't me. You know what? It's a truck. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> you want to be gentle near that stuff. You start ripping the paint off on the outside, then you're in trouble. You start breaking door handles off that's when the money comes in this sort of stuff you really want to be what can i say if you're doing it to make money you really got to be careful not to destroy anything else while you're working on it like basically Couple places I'm gonna to need to clean up just a little bit better. Get some weld on it. Just gonna start the air hose up. I'm gonna get the die grinder and get in there and get it. So I got a die grinder. Tim, you're you're wanted on your phone, I think. I'm just gonna turn the turn the air on. Doug, appreciate that. Problem, buddy. Just like my dental assistant. Just gonna take him. be able to weld it, tack it there. Yeah, when we put this sill on, I'll get a little more here to do here. When we put this sill on, you know, everybody's always thinking, well, weld it completely. Well, we're not going to do that. And the, re and the reason I'm not going to do that is because from factory, you can just see it underneath. It's spot welded on, on the underneath. Just spot weld. It's not welded continuously. When we put the top piece up on top of the sill, we're not going to continuously weld that either. That would be, to me, um, a waste of time, a waste of product. And you're just going to rot out that again more so. So we're going to do exactly what they did underneath. We're going to spot it underneath. Then we're going to spot it on the top. And then we're going to cover it over. Um, to weld that from one end to the other end solid is my belly button is a waste of time. Is because where you weld generally it rots first. And where the metal here is going to be setting up over here over top of this uh, is you're going to be very hard to get something up here on top of that underneath that and also and to weld that all the way along there um, you would distort a lot of stuff all that heat and it's not necessary 
takes more time, more effort, and doesn't do a better job. It's basically, keep catching my finger on that door, but it's just kind of not necessary to put your sill on your car. They've got it spot welded on the bottom. That means you should be able to spot welded on the top. All right, I'm gonna do this. Let's throw that sill up on there, Douglas. Um, yeah, we got doors open. We got all the stuff beat out of it. Yes, we do. Now, basically, I'm gonna to try to push that in. I'm gonna take a little more off this, Doug, and back here, just to make sure I get it in there for him. But then again, I think I am. And what you wanna basically do is make sure you get it in there far enough so you're, it looks good. I'm just gonna take it, we're hitting there, so I just wanna take a little bit off. Well, just a little bit, Doug. Just gonna pull that down for a sec. Just a little, just a little bit. You know that song. Come on. Plug me in, Doug. Just change that cord from that drill to that. Backwards. Now, I know I'm in tight, so now I can just bang that down in there and weld that on there. Alrighty. I'm going to get the welder going. You've got enough down there, have you, Douglas? Yeah. i got to take a knock, to take this off for a sec, old boy. Just going to knock this corner off, it's hitting. I'll give you a little more if you want. All I need is enough to cover what i got going on, and that's enough. Good. All right, we're gonna just gonna let that go for a sec, Doug. You get your all on your own. Let's get the welder going. Yep. We are laying the sill right over top of the other sill, um, so we we are taking uh, the the sill is made out of 20 gauge. I'm sure I'm I'm thinking it's 20 gauge that the sill is made out of. So if you can picture it, we are taking that much or the thickness of the metal away from the door gap that's what we're taking away from the door gap as we put it on top um, and that to me um, that is not going to hurt anything it's not going to hurt anything that's basically i would say probably how everybody does their sills i would say you want something to weld to in order and and to try to butt that sill on there uh, to butt weld that on there would be in my, just my opinion, would be foolish. And the reason being was it would, cost, it would ca cause you a bunch of work that's unnecessary. Unnecessary work is um, the fool's path. Did you hear that? I heard that. Unnecessary work is the fool's path. Uh, I have Jolene's helmet. I'm gonna, no, actually, yeah, I'll grab it. There's a helmet right over on that welder I stuck over there. So just a little bit cleaner, because it's my Queen Jolene's. I'll probably adopt it, and then she can have a new one. Do you mind that? Awesome. That's why I love you so much. You're the bestest and the mostest. You're gonna make me a mimosas today, aren't you? All right. Have to thank Jack for that. Jack got Jolene a Chris, or a birthday gift you got her two bottles of champagne join the guy got some juice and now we have momosas like is that what you call them? mimosas what mimosa a mimosa all right let me stick this underneath here hopefully that doesn't cause us myth problems we're not worried about the underneath yet we're just going to stick it on the top here and then we'll, we'll deal with that Want to make sure we got enough there. You got enough down there, Doug? Yes, I do. You can have a little more if you want. No. Okay. I'm, I'm pushing this in as hard as I can. As am I. And I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to weld it on. Now.
Tim's got enough stuff on there to protect the seat. <laughs> Good clean metal. Allows it to weld the best. We'll push it on. We're just pushing it on in place because we're up against what it was before. Should have no problem with fitment, I don't think. Doug's hair it on. Now, let's shut the door. Doors. Uh, and see what we got going on. I'm not touching the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shut this one. Uh, we won't shut this one. We'll just take a look at it. Because the door handle won't open it. We're fine. We're right on top of the sill before we got the good door gap. We're a little tight there. Probably it was tight there before, obviously. I can bang it down a little bit. We're good all the way up front. Got good door gap. We got good metal to weld to. Awesome. I'm gonna go along, stick it on a little bit better. And what I mean by a little better is every probably every Every inch, I suppose, or every, yeah, every inch would probably good. Where it's, it's spitting on me. You know what it's telling me? When it's spitting on me, like certain places it was spitting on me, it just tells me that the metal is getting thin there. That's what it tells me. Where it wells nice, it, there's lots of metal, but where it's spitting, it just telling me that the metal is getting thin. No real heat. Just spotting it on. Got a little close there, I did. Don't touch that door, Doug. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Metal's getting... Now we have that in there. Now we just make the ends fit. Let's make the ends fit. Zip cut, Douglas. Zip cut. That be pulled down. You can see our lip all the way along there. Why wow, you got them? Beautiful. Actually, I'm just going to take a pair of C clamps. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh.
there's a some in the first toolbox you went to that where the stripper wheel wasn't dug. There's some self tappers there. Boys were close. Let's run that over some. We can actually weld that on there. Actually, where it's nice. Gonna tack it where it's tight. Coat hanger there, a little thin there. And then there's a there's a thing there too. Uh, yeah, you got her. Tap that in. I got that welder turned up really hot because we were doing the, the doodle bug thing. So you're going to turn down there a little bit. Got a turn going in. Just tighten all this up. Now it's just a matter of welding it up. Yeah, I'm gonna... If we want to, if you want to, Doug, grab his, all the pliers here and try to tighten this up. We'll start from the center and then tighten, put, you know, put a pair of vice grips every foot going that way and then we're going this way. Take this off. Probably should have done that in the first place, but we didn't. Start from the center. Is that center? They're close. Close enough. Yeah. They actually might be able to spot weld that, you know that? Not bad, eh? Not bad. If I can, I will. That's just quicker. Stop it. Damn thing. Vice grips are probably the best. The vice grips. Yeah. And you can do one at a time. Um, Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful you are, Jolene. She's beautiful. Both it wells, I'm going to uh, weld it. Um, If 
if it will weld, I'll weld it. This is the hardest thing sometimes, is just to get that sill connected back. Because generally everything, everything is so rusty underneath that it's hard to connect it back. But uh, we've, we've got lucky. So what I'm going to do now is, there's a few places there where it is rusty. Um, my, my trusty go-to is, is to the drill and the self-tapper. And the reason being is, generally it's so rusty underneath there, unless you spend hours and hours and hours um, to clean it up, um, it's a hard time, you know? So basically this is what I like to do. This is a little trick that I do once in a while. Well, I do it all the time, actually. It's tucked in there. Self tampers you. What I'll do is I'll run the drill. There's that lip. The inside inside floor piece comes down. As the lip goes in, the sill's been welded on the outside here. Goes around, it can, goes underneath, and connects to it. It was spot welded all on the bottom. I generally just take a self tapper, put the self tapper up through it, and then weld the self tapper head in the sill. So you, it looks like a spot weld. It's a go-to, like. It's a go-to, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Probably picked the dullest one of the bunch. That looks like that one's ruined. Yeah. Sometimes these aren't the easiest thing to put in, but once they go in, they and they're not coming out. Oh, that's not coming out. <laughs> I think I'll put one back here. Stop it. Not doing a very good job putting these in there, but. I'll try to space them out so they look decent. not doing anything that someone else couldn't do that's for sure or every body shop doesn't do I love the little assistant handing me these it's like he's my my dentist assistant they're going in easier Now, when you have the inside sill gone, then you have more work to do because you have to make the inside sill come down to match this. And generally what I like to do is like to put the outside sill on and then make the inside sill because you know where the inside sill has to go to. Sometimes when you make that inside sill, when you go to put this on, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so generally I like to put the outside sill on first and then have a piece that fits the outside sill. 
because that's where you want it to fit the outside not the inside <laughs> That's when we say, who's your daddy? As I say that, when I was a young man, uh, Doug, Doug's father, I used to work with Doug's father, Denny. And he picked me up every morning. And uh, yeah, I probably was a handful. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work beside Tim. At the, you, Tim worked at the feed plant and co-op, and I worked at the feed plant and sure game. And we were sort of doing the exact same thing, but we didn't know each other. Alrighty. I don't want to close that door yet. I have the front to tack on. I have this to tack on a little bit better because I do. Probably just turn Probably just gonna turn that welder down a hair. We're up quite high because we're welding that chassis. If you recall. Did you want a timeout, you say, Tim? I just wanted to let you know, there's a couple gentlemen out there want to see you. Oh, do they? Tell them to come right around the back. We have a couple visitors and uh, we're just gonna tell them to come on in. Oh, oh broke my belly. Oh! My coat hanger there, Tim? Oh, good. It's always important. It's always a poopy thing when you get welding something. Is there a coat hanger right there? Right. It's it hanging on the back of the welder? It's always a poopy thing when you get to go, go back far enough and you think you've got it. No, it's just not. Um, what? <coughs> er, sound like I fired it, but that wasn't me. I take full credit for the farts. Here, buddy. That'd be good now. Woo, perfect. So yeah. what happens there, it's starting to burn through a little bit. And it's always, like I thought I had the clean metal all the way back there. I guess it's just where well, my coat hanger off. come in. I just shove it in the Good hole. For me. Perfect. <laughs> and then I could fix it. So we're basically gobbing her up there, but you know what that is. Yeah. Have to be careful too on something like this. Start getting heat to this sort of thing, or you've got things inside the truck, you can catch it on fire. Then it's a oh no. Going up front here, gonna tackle this on here. That looks good. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, baby. Tack it on. It probably could use a little split there. Just gonna relief it. Oh, we need a little plug in there if we can instead of the... What's going on here? Is it stuck out there a little bit? <clears throat> it's not. Well, it's just stuck out there a little bit. You can see it. I release it a little bit.
good metal up front. Get it tight. Tight and right. It's not coming off. Sounds that it's not clean metal, that's what it sound is. I like how that metal bends where it's thinner. Bends really nice. Alrighty. We'll take all the vice grips off. You wanna take all the vice grips off, Douglas, for me, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. So what I'm going to do now is, what time we at? 106? Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'll show you what I do with the self-tappers, and then we'll shut it down. What we're going to do uh, with the rest of the sill, it's spotted on, we'll take the little stripper wheel, we'll clean up all the spots where we welded it. I'll run a coat of fiberglass all on the top, on the inside of the doors with my finger. I'll just put some in there and I'll run along with my finger, try to make it as smooth as possible so I do not have to sand it. I'll put a little fiberglass on either end, clean it up, make it look right. And then we're on to whatever you want to put on it. We probably put a little rock guard on it, throw a little paint, paint on it, and then it's time to undercoat it for inspection. So uh, what I have here now is, if you want to take a look here, uh, so I have a um, self-tapper there. What I'm going to do is, I got a self tap. What do you want me to do right here? Is that fine? Self tap right there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a grinder, flapper wheel. Let's do each one until Doug gets that. That's just for metal that you cannot flap with. So you, like it's hard to weld that, that metal that's got the, uh, so rusty that it's hard, it's just hard to clean it up no matter how long you spend at it or whatever. So now that I've got that on there, now I'm just gonna take my flapper wheel. When I grind that off, now it looks like I got a nice little plug weld all the way along there, which basically what people are looking for, um, you want a nice little plug weld. I can grind them off a little bit better. Probably should have come through a little further on that cab corner, but I did not. But anyways, that's what I'm going to do inside here. I think I've already said it. I'm going to clean that up with the, with the drill again. Then I'm going to take some fiberglass on my finger and rub it all the way through there and, and try not to even sand that at all. To try to do... Oh, I just did it. But the inside window door is open. So now we got the sill on there. Now it's just time to fiberglass it and get it looking so it looks good. Uh, the the, the self-tappers on the bottom. I'll go along and weld each one of those to make it look like a spot of weld or a plug weld a weld. So it looks like we're doing the right thing. We can grind them off to make them even look better than, than that. The, the screw's not coming out. So there you go, there's a, a sill replacement, cut out, put on with the time that you have and explaining it. Um, so uh, you can do it just as well as I can do it. Doug's done it many times. I think Doug's made a living off, have you not? Yep, done? sure have. Doug's, you know, is, as I'm talking about sills, but Anybody we, have, can do it. we have one sill to replace and that's a good thing. So we got another, we got another hour um, to, either, to get um, them welded off. 
we can just uh, clean the top of the welds off inside the sill or inside the cylinder, clean them off real quick. We'll mix up some fiberglass, put a little fiberglass on this end, a little fiberglass on this end, a little rock guard. Sayonara. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. We appreciate it. Actually, before I say that, let's take a little walk out here side for a second. We got a couple people that wanted to visit for a minute. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> you know what, Raymond? You How are, are you, Mr. Chad? Chad? Mr. Chad, I'm not a man. Uh, Chad. Chad. Yeah, Chad. Chad. Chad, yeah. yeah okay. nice How, you doing? Doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. You busy? So we're, we're just, very busy, eh? I'm going to be busy for a second, then I'm going to talk to you. Okay. So this is, we got it outside, um, just to take a look at it, where we're going with it. It's kind of, I don't know what to say. That's what it looks like outside. Jolene will walk around. We got a couple visitors here today, which is good. I always enjoy them. Jolene will take a walk around it, but it's outside. Also, I was thinking about the front end on this thing. If I just took the wheel off the front and got another back wheel, so if I took this rim off, take that off, take the back rim off and put it on here, we shove that wheel out there so it probably would be okay. But basically that's what it looks like outside. It doesn't look much different than it did on the inside, but um, we are putting sills on today, so this is where it lies. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. We appreciate it. Like, share, comment, come back. We'll be here tomorrow and have a great day.